for a month straight. Roxy was trapped in there, eating poison food, no shower, and that panty must be foul because that's the only way Rudy was able to tell. Was it his intuition? Was it the water drop performing? No, Anin you said in the Mushoku Tensei cut that he could smell something. Mm -mm -mm. And you know what he should have done after Roxy pissed her pants? Or sorry, her panties? He should have showed up with the sacred relic and said, you need a fresh pair, baby girl. Oh, that shit would have been perfect. But that's not even the most controversial shit that happened last episode. Tall Hand, my man, is into little boys. I didn't know Tall Hand had it like that. Hey, there is nothing wrong with being gay. I just feel like a grown-ass dwarf looking at a fucking, you know, a, a minor. It's just, you know, it's just... There's a lot of death flags for Paula as well. For overall, last episode, pretty heroic, pretty triumphant. Are we gonna have despair this episode? Let's find out. Roxy? So this is gonna be the stuff that Annie New said, where the month long, you know, what was she doing to survive? So the anime is gonna cover that nice. You're right, actually. Because the reason why people were mad at Eris and Rudy controversy was because Rudy is technically a grown ass man who got reborn as a child and has the mental maturity of a child and whatnot, but overall his age, right? It's a fucking grown ass man. So now if we take that context, that talking point of why people crucify Rudy and then apply that to Tall Hand, suddenly it's all right. <laughs> Look at that ass all you want, boy. Okay, Roxy fighting the spiders. There's one ton centipedes too, right? We're going in circles. We marked this. And you gotta get married. Man, having so much Roxy dialogue is crazy, man. This is crazy. Why was Roxy even there? She got transported. She accidentally stepped on a teleportation circle during the initial race into the labyrinth, I think. So this is the first place that she got ported to and she kept getting in circles and now she's like shit If nothing's working out, maybe I should try stepping on this teleportation circle and see where it's gonna lead me This is the gamba she took and fuck it sent her in somewhere even worse, right? Oh, this is Rudy now. <gasps> My hero! And everyone's thumbnail. <laughs> this was everybody's thumbnail in the anime reaction space, anime review, anime niche on YouTube. Everybody <laughs> used this thumbnail. Myself, of course, it was the best shot. That's, that's the fucking money shot, baby. Now opening. Fuck. Kunka, Kunka. One month of unbathed Roxy. Now she is, you know, water mage. She can probably wash herself, right? But like, <laughs> you pissed yourself, didn't you? <laughs> you fucking freak. <laughs> Not you, my man. <laughs> Roxy has been seasoned and marinated for over a month, bro, in the fucking slow cooker. What is she? What? what you, could you imagine the smell? Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> She's a lady man. Oh. So much taller than her too now. <laughs> when was the last time we met? Holy shit, we grew up a lot. We were a kid, right? Straight up. We were an actual child. Uh, the face is similar, but oh my god. She does. Yeah. Season one. She, yeah, it makes sense. Oh my god. <laughs> so, like, to Roxy, a random stranger just showed up, saved her, and smelled her up. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? Like, a random, totally random. It's not even like the contest of Rudy saving. It's like a random dude shows up, smells you. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> 
できればお名前を聞かせていただけないでしょうか。Rudy's great rat. You're my teacher. Oh, sacred relic. I have your sacred relic. Oh boy. Remember? You were a child, bro. Geese. Tall hand carrying Roxy. So, bro just puked at the smell of Roxy's soiled panties. No, he didn't. He puked because he's like, oh my gosh, he doesn't remember me. Wonder if he told her who he is. It seems like we haven't yet. She still doesn't know yet. Tall hand probably like, I gotta fucking carry this girl. Why couldn't it be a fucking little boy instead? <laughs> okay, okay, it's, okay, so she knows. She knows it's Rudy now. The smell wasn't why Rudy threw up, I don't think. It's it's the mental damage that it's fucking, you know? It, it, she didn't remember me, right? Yeah, it wasn't the smell. Kawaii Rudy has become a man Rudy. Do we have a chance now with Roxy? Hey. Hey, um, do you see me as a man instead of a little boy? Hello? <gasps> okay! Losing my lunch. <laughs> That's That's uh, with the whole Fit Senpai thing, right? And this is not season one stuff where he thought that she was a boy. Alright, we're out of the labyrinth for now. Happy, happy! I don't like the look that he has right now. He's about to fucking peek in there. What are you doing, Rudy? That's good, that's good. I sense the this relationship is very interesting now because like she used to see him as only a child and he was a child. He was five years old, but now how long has passed? 11 years, right? So now it's it, the, the dynamic is like she doesn't baby us. She seems almost shy. Like she almost sees him as like a man or something, right? Is there something here more to it? Rudy's son, to your child, is that demon genetics, man? She keeps aging, but the fucking she looks like in her permanent twenties, bro. He still calls her Shisho, though. All right, break time for three days. <laughs> we just saved her after one month of being isolated, but we gotta get Roxy bad in the fucking labyrinth before too long so that she can get traumatized again. Superstition. Superstition. This is true? Uh, you almost have a close call. You need to go back into the labyrinth. What the fuck? Keep you out forever? Out? Keep you out? We can't... What? PTSD? I could see something like that. Like a local legend where, you know, you traumatize yourself so much that you get scared to go in anymore. That's why you need to, like, use shock therapy and just, like, get back in. That actually makes a lot of sense. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, look at me. I'm just kind of walking along. Oh, look at me. There's nothing serious going on here. Did you see me? Did you see me? Did you see? I'm here, by the way. Hey, you want to hang out? Uh, oh, let me just go back. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, hey, what's up? You saw me, hey! I thought that... So, a so Aeris, Aeris fucked us on left, and Sylphie saved us. We fucked Sylphie on left, and now we save Roxy. So, if the pattern... If we take the patterns of what happens each arc and with each girl, we should either fuck Roxy and then leave, and then does Aeris come back? When does Aeris gonna come back? She can read your thoughts. So she actually sees him as a man. This is good news. This is actually great news. She wouldn't make eye contact like that and then break apart and, you know, not eye contact. She can't make eye contact. She's blushing. Like, stuff like this. This is good signs. Mm. One ton centipede, spiders, mud thing. Alright, three days passed. Our party is insane. It's actually crazy. Like, with Rudy, the labyrinth was a breeze. But now with Roxy and Rudy and Aiden and Aze Paul and Tallhand and Geese as a navigator, like, how could our party possibly lose in the labyrinth? But. You know, turning point three. Something bad's gonna happen, right? This is an insane party, but... <sighs> what's gonna happen, man? Oh. You want some mana? I'll give you some mana. Straight inject it into your... Oh? Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're in. Ooh. It's a big back, right? Mm. Oh, 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 them toes moving. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. I'm listening. What are we doing after we save Zenith? Whoa. Just the two of us? It's a date! It's a labyrinth date, but like, this is a flag. While this sounds really fun and cute, it's like a date. But after we save Zenith, ah, this is like a death flag at the Viking. I don't fucking know. <laughs> oh no, I don't know, guys. Okay. Oh, you can sleep on my back, baby girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Come, come over here. Yeah. <laughs> she don't know we're married. <laughs> Fucking home wrecker Roxy coming in out of nowhere. We got a fucking baby on the way, man. Selfie was fine with that, right? Well, no, Selfie was fine with us having a concubine in case that we could not conceive. Oh, I feel so sorry for Selfie. Oh, no, I feel so sorry for Selfie. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, what are we gonna do, man? We can make time. Four stratum? Alright, we found the fourth train in the tech. I think at a certain point, some kind of devil monster shows up. Was that fifth stratum? Sixth stratum is completely all devil monster. There's like this demon devil thing I saw in the Annie News video that looks fucking scary. Was that fourth? Alright. These skeleton knights can use water god style? Look at this teamwork. Okay. Yeah, I guess like volleyball, right? When like a ball's coming, you gotta say, MINE! Because if you don't, then it's like... It just lands and everyone's like, what the fuck? You didn't, you didn't fucking say it. It's a confirmation. 
That is so cool. Who's behind always, bro? I swear to God, this motherfucker is always behind Rudy. Last episode as well. Because he's the perfect height. And the peripheral vision is going straight down, bro. Every time he's right behind Rudy. Motherfucker, you're supposed to be sub DPS fucking frontline. <laughs> Why are you behind Rudy? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> is he is he happy right now? That whole conversation with Rudy was like, no, I used to be better before. You're so stronger now. He's like, Daddy's so cool. Yeah, I flexed. I fucking flexed on my son. Yeah, you like that shit, Rudy? Yeah, I'm pretty cool, right? But moments like this is why I'm kind of like scared for Paul. Happy moments like this. Just, it, it might hurt if he dies. He's the prime candidate to die along with Zenith and maybe Edinarize. I don't fucking know. Why is Edinarize smiling right over here? Hmm? She's also <laughs> blushing. Oh, she thinks it's funny. Got it, got it, got it. I mean, Zenith hasn't stuck there for like years now. I don't think it fucking matters. And it's not even stuck. It's called being captive and you said there is the guardian of the labyrinth holding her captive meaning zenith is for some reason useful and there's no time limit i'm not sure yeah <laughs> you make eye contact oh he's so cool yeah oh we're back to the racist soundtrack yeah, where am I? Am I in Aladdin? Am I in Prince of Persia? Oil her up. Hi. The roots? What does it do? Increase your libido? He has? With the little poke? Damn, the wind pressure? He has been practicing always. He's better than Luke Gray, right? We found them! The GOATS! These dudes are behind the racist soundtracks! That's just such a fucking banger ever since we entered the desert! It was them! They were clutching the entire time! Salute! Thank you for the music! Oh, dude. As soon as we fucking teleported and landed on the sand, bro, they started going... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Dude, the soundtrack, listen, it's, it's not racist. I just think it's fucking hilarious when there's like a sound theme that's supposed to represent the region. Like if you go to Asia, what is it gonna go? No, 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 Gong, you know, shit like that. I think the soundtrack is fucking fantastic. <laughs> you followed the master? Well, there was a dude that was being so creepy to her, right? It was that fucking kingdom where she was teaching that fucking kid and he was the creepiest motherfucker. She fought her master? I fought with my master at the University of Magic. This is, this is a different place, I forget, but the teaching job. That kid was creepy, bro. Aww, look at her fidgeting, man. Oh, it's life at the university before. Got it. Before she became a tutor. Got it. Got it. Different. Okay, okay. She did get humbled by a five-year-old Rudy who was casting. What tier magic was it? Saint tier magic of water at the age of five incantationless, right? She saw that and she was like, well, <laughs> fuck. This fucking kid's doing this. I gotta go for a fucking lap and figure my shit out. Mm. Emotional maturation, huh? Oh, meant a lot to me too. Stole your panties, by the way. Is this a flag? Is this a flag? <sighs> Maybe? There will be no death, guys. Maybe there's gonna be no death. It's gonna be happy. Maybe this time, 
all these flags are just red herrings. And it's like, everyone lives! Happy, happy! I don't know. Come on, the next level cope. <laughs> nice sword. That's the sword that Inaize got from Rudy, right? Just now? She's at the bottom, bottom of the labyrinth, right? And the six is the farthest we've ever gotten, but six isn't even the final layer, right? It's like no one knows, really, right? Oh, what is this incense? That's what we bought at the market! Hmm. We're guarding up this floor. Oh boy! Yeah, the devouring devils. That's the monster Annie just told us. But, um, here we are. No more will we have a handy manual that'll keep us protected and safe. We're in unknown territory from here on out. Here we fucking go. Yeah, two way by back and forth. No, but I have a wife, by the way, but. Oh, thank God he's single. Oh, thank God he's single. Okay. It's not like he could be married with a kid on the way or anything, right? Oh, thank God. Keep quiet about Sophie, guys. We keep quiet. Oh, Ghislaine mentioned! We always fail coin flips unless we like Ghislaine shoes. Because Ghislaine can just smell that shit with the beast nose or something. Ghislaine mentioned. I'm surprised there wasn't much of an impact there with Ghislaine's name mentioned. And then I thought he'd make a connection with Eris and be like, oh, the red hair girl that betrayed me. She didn't. What's he doing? Really? Are you sure, Daddy? No. <laughs> Roxy? Roxy. Uh, yeah. This might also be a flag. I'll tell you back at the end. This might also be a death flag. This could also be a death flag. Stop it! Stop it! Are we never going back to the inn? The author is at this point like, guys. Are you tired of the death flags? Did any, are you, everyone understands, right? If you don't understand, let me explicitly say that this is a death flag. Famous last words. Paul's gonna die. Yep. Nitoryu. <laughs> Okay, first of all, so the implication here is the short sword, he never used it before. It was in fact just to flex for Rudy. We got that out of the way. So the dual wielding is bullshit. Now, if we take the dual wielding here into context of what's going on with Rudy and Roxy and Sophie, why stop at Nitoryu, bro? Go fucking Santoryu. Nah, two wives? Three wives! Why stop at three? Because he's dual wielding Zenith and fucking Lilia, bro. Santoryu! Santoryu! He was pretty click with that. Daddy was pretty slick with that, huh? <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> Two swords, Rudy. What do you think? Two swords, huh? Come on, come on. One is useful for the other things. Come on. Think, 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 bro. Paul, why not three? Stop at Nitoryu, nah. What? What do you mean you've seen this room? Orsted? He figured something out? Brain blast? He definitely is. Hollow noise, where is it? There it is! The soundtrack is nuts right now. 
And this leads to... Because the other ones would have just fucked us up somewhere else in the current stratum. But this one actually descends down. <gasps> Is that it? That's my boy. Roxy, get in there too. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. My God, that oh, this looks so evil. Every other circle was blue. This is like red purple. Oh. And that is today's episode of Mushoku Tensei. A mixture of cunny moments, a mixture of hype shit, but essentially a setup before we get to the fifth stratum and below. Roxy did not remember Rudy, but she knows who Rudy is. She just thought that Rudy was too big because last time was five years old, you know, and then she puked because of that. Not because of the foul stance that's been marinating for a month. He just kind of puked because of, oh my gosh, she didn't remember me. No, she does remember. Now, there's some really cute moments with Roxy trying to, you know, flirt with Rudy. And definitely, she has been folded, right? She sees him as a man. But little does she know that we have a whole ass wife and a kid coming. But we keep that, we keep that shit quiet, okay? We keep that shit on fucking log. As Paul said, you know, life isn't about having one sword. Sometimes you need different swords for different uses. You know, two wives. Why stop at two? I say three wives. We go fucking santo to you, man. There's some really cute moments of Roxy and, and ultimately, the goal was to find the... Like, the book stops here. We don't know what to do after, and Rudy's found the hidden entrance, and we're going lower. A lot of death flags being uh, set up, even to the point where Paul and Rudy, their conversation, Rudy literally said, you know, these are famous last words. I think he's gonna die. I don't fucking know. This is looking pretty fucking bad, but hey, we made progress in the next episode. Today was pretty happy. Pretty Today was pretty triumphant. I think that we should prepare ourselves for the fucking worst next episode, and that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care, guys.